Hi, I'm Kurt with the Andersons and today we're going to talk about grubs. Now, just like most lawn topics that we cover, if you understand a little bit of the science behind what we're trying to accomplish, you're going to have no trouble understanding and therefore preventing grubs from damaging your lawn. So the grubs that damage lawns are the larvae of beetles and specifically May and June beetles, the chafer family, and Japanese beetles. Hey Chuck, you know the most famous Japanese beetle? Yoko Ono. <laughs> now it's important that you understand a little bit about the beetle's life cycle so that you know how to prevent the grubs. Now we're going to start with the adult beetle stage. If you're out at night in late June, let's say, and you notice a bunch of bugs throwing themselves at the lights or hurling themselves at your kitchen window because it's all lit up. Or if you go out and check your roses at night and you're gonna see beetles all over them, this is mating season. And in a short week or two, they'll be laying eggs in your lawn. So fast forward to Labor Day. And again, if you are farther south, your grubs might be about a month ahead. If those eggs have hatched, the grubs are entering feeding stage and they're starting to feed on your lawn's roots. And the shame of it is, this is when you're getting low humidity, cool nights, the kind of weather that your lawn loves. Your lawn should look the best it does all year in the fall. So you look out and why is that huge spot dead out by the mailbox? Well, you go out and you pull on it and it pulls right up like a loose laid carpet and you see hundreds of grubs just laying there at the soil surface. So this is grub damage and this is what we want to prevent. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now, if you get through fall with no signs of grub damage, the good news, you're in the clear. Any grubs that are in the lawn, which there will always be a few, are not going to cause any damage for the rest of their life cycle. And that goes all the way through next summer when they become adults again. And so that means if you're one of those people that are planting your flowers in the spring and you dug up a grub and you freak out, you shouldn't. Just relax. That grub's not going to hurt anything. So how do you know ahead of time that you're going to need to treat for grubs? Well, it's true that some beetles do like certain trees, certain bushes, and even some soils. And because they like those, they'll tend to lay their eggs in those areas of the lawn. Uh, and if you have had an issue with grub damage in a certain area of your lawn in the past, it's likely you're going to have it in the same spot in the future. But as a rule, you cannot predict if you're going to have grub damage from one year to the next. So now that you know a little bit about the beetle's life cycle, now we can talk about insecticides and just as importantly, when to apply them. Now we all know an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So you're asking, what insecticide prevents grubs? Well, I want you to look for a product that has the active ingredient imidacloprid and at the AndersonsHomeAndGarden.com, that's gonna be four to five season long grub control. This bag will cover 5,200 square feet. And just like the name says, it truly is season long. You can put this product down two months in advance of that grub feeding stage and it'll remain active in the soil, held in the grass roots in fact, all the way through fall. Now here in Ohio, I like to do my imidacloprid treatment in late July, just before a good rainfall is forecast, uh, because any grub treatment really needs to be watered in right away and pretty deeply. Now the AndersonsHomeAndGarden.com also carries 1703 fertilizer with Grub Out Plus. Now this product is gonna be good for preventing grubs because it has imidacloprid in it, but it also be good for your summertime feeding with the 1703, but it also has a surface insecticide for your bill bugs and chinch bugs and side webworm, things like that. So if you can time it just right for all three of those things, go for it. 1703 with Grub Out Plus. Sometimes despite our best efforts, there's still more grubs in the soil than the imidacloprid was designed to kill, and you'll still get a little bit of grub damage. Or worse, the neighborhood raccoons and skunks will smell them and come dig them up, and it'll look like somebody came through with a rototiller. If you have grubs in the fall, you got to get Duocide. Apply it at the labeled rate and water it in really well. Well, that's it. You're now prepared to prevent grubs with Fortify Season Long Grub Control or 1703 with Grub Out Plus from the AndersonsHomeAndGarden.com. And remember, I want you to put that down in late July before a good rainfall. For more tips and tricks and to shop our products, make sure you visit AndersonsHomeAndGarden.com. And from all of us here at the Andersons, thanks for watching. Let's go prevent some grubs.